Hey, what's up everyone? It's Chris Winter here for another DSLR tip. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to sync audio and video without even having to go into your uh, editor. So you don't have to use Final Cut or you don't have to use Premiere, which is, can be a really good thing because sometimes you just wanna get the video and the audio and have it as one file. And these two programs will show you how to do it. So let's get onto my computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so there are two programs that I normally use to sync up audio and video without having to get in Final Cut or Premiere. Now the first one is called Pluralize, and you've probably heard of it if you've been uh, doing DSLR video for a while. It was essentially the pioneer of syncing audio and video easily. So what I'll do is open it up, and I'm just using a trial. You can get a 30-day trial if you want to test it out. And all you need to do is essentially drop the files that you want to sync. So my audio file here is my SmartLav audio file. And then my video is just a video, so you just drag that there. And by magic, all you need to do is click the sync button up here, and you'll see that they are synced now. So let's test this out and see how it sounds. What I'll do is turn that, oh, first off, we'll hear the, the sound from the onboard audio. Okay, so I'm currently recording on my Canon T5i, and you. you okay. And as you can probably hear, it's not very good. So what we'll do is just uh, turn mute that one off and then we'll put on the Rode SmartLav sound. Okay, so I'm currently recording on my Canon T4i and, awesome. and you can in hear the, and it's uh, sounding the pretty poor good. sound that comes out of So to export this, all you need to do is go File, Export, then uh, you don't need to export it to a timeline unless you want to do that, but the way that I do it just to get that one file is to go to Media Files, Copy of Video Files, click Export and place it wherever you want to have it and it's pretty quick to do it. And if we go now to my desktop, you can see Canon T4i, and you can hear the synced audio uh, and video file, sound which that comes out of one file. file. It's That's an, why we're uh, going to use the Rode app, and, and we're really, going to really well. The other one that you can use is called DreamSync. It's a new app. It's a lot cheaper than uh, than Pluralize, but uh, it is kind of. I think it's still in a beta stage. So essentially, it works the same way. All you do is drag the video file and the audio file in, and then you just click sync. And like I said, it is in beta stage, and I've had a little bit of a trouble with it, but it does work pretty well most of the time. And like I said, it's around about, I think, $200 cheaper than the, uh, the Pluralize. So they all work in the same kind of way. This one's just exported this file right here, and it's, uh, sorry, this one's just synced the file right here. But that's pretty much the way to do it, guys. Uh, if you want to uh, ask me any questions, feel free to do that, but that's a way to sync your audio and video and get them into one single file. So there you go guys, that was just a way to sync audio and video. Obviously you guys might have your own different ways. It can be easier to do it in Final Cut and in Premiere and in Vegas, but if you ever need to just have one file from the video and audio put together, these were a way to do it. Hopefully you guys liked the video, and if you did, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.